In sports, distracting the opponent is an important part of the road to victory. For this reason, one of the players decided to slow down his opponent by removing his helmet and pushing him forward. A sportscaster was interviewing British swimmers about their victory in the 4x200m freestyle relay when she said something that was right but sounded very weird. It's your first Olympics and you swam, honestly, your third leg was just phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I haven't actually had a chance to watch it back yet. I've, I've tried to find it and to be honest with you, I'm having some trouble, trouble finding the video of the race. A mascot decided to help Bo to take off his sneakers after another gold medal, hoping to get them as a gift. But when Usain didn't give them to him, he made a face implying that his feet smelled. This poor fella decided that he is too tired of the 3000 meters and the hurdle is too high for him, so he had to use his intuition to get over the situation. Look at it, Steve. What he did was he got up there, he slowed down, he moved the plant. Look, see? He moved the plant. Oh, he stood on it to get up. <laughs> <Climbed> up. <laughs> Bless him. Too many steeplechase barriers in Papua New Guinea. What I love, I, I still haven't got this, so you know, I might bring Brendan in this. Either. In a fight for the ball in a field hockey game, one of the players decided to hit the ball in the air, but without wanting to hit his opponent. Fortunately, everyone was okay after that. Again, the Germans not wasting any time. The battle and the stick coming. Possibly more of a shock and quite startling as the ball that comes up. A handball player decided that the best way to stop his opponent from scoring a goal is to embrace him and to give him a big and nice farewell hug. And it worked. It's not to say that the, uh, the acts aren't violent or that the acts aren't going to cause any pain or distress. Mascot tries to entertain the crowd during a break in the athletics due to a high winds. The show definitely worked, but see for yourself what was the cost of the viewer's entertainment. A very funny moment happened when a reporter accidentally fell in a swimming pool during a live interview with the British Olympic swim team. Ben Proud and James Guy, congratulations. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that's giving you all a good night. <laughs> that's inconsolable there. Just look before you get in a swim pool in future, okay? I hope you can still hear me. After a mistake on one of the turns, the bobsled team turned around and crossed the finish line with their feet up. After leaving the sled, one of the riders threw his helmet and almost hit a staff member. A field hockey player tried to sneak the ball away from his opponent by hooking her leg with her stick, but the referee didn't see and she calmly continued her game. With the game tying goal, at the time it was the game leader when she scored. When a basketball player saw that he couldn't get the ball from his opponent, he decided to push him, forcing him to throw himself over the referee's table to avoid a collision. 69. And again the ball tipped away. The Argentines port side television position. I'm not sure why he kept going. Let's see. I mean that's a dive. I I mean he dives over. A skier decided to start the race a few hundreds earlier, but was surprised when the barrier did not lower and he front flipped. Oh, 
a turret or fails in his last attempt at weightlifting, but doesn't despair and decides to finish his attempt by celebrating with a dance. The US gymnast turned social media sensation with a face she made after receiving her vote silver medal. Melanie was the overwhelming favorite for gold, but she fell on her second of two votes and was passed by Romania Sandra. Askia was a little distracted when he almost crashed two staff workers who have decided to clean the track while the race was still going on. A long jumper started his second attempt but he was running and looking down while at the same time a distracted track and field competitor decided to cross the track. Russian gold medal winners had to sing their national anthem after an old Eutinira anthem was played by mistake. The athletes were handed the microphone when the organizers played the old anthem. The national anthem of Russia.